Hey blessings everyone, this is Yanni, the only luckologist. So, um, something I wanted to talk about, I went through my, my videos and I can't remember if I talked about this, maybe I did, it would have been a while back, but a few people asked me to discuss it. What do people who have medical conditions and it's affected their hair? So this is Tam Tams. Um, we are actually twinsies, not in real life. We both have Graves disease. Okay, in fact, we were diagnosed around the same time, maybe I think like the same week, sis. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were diagnosed. We are the same exact age, the only difference, born the same year. The only difference was she and I, she have children, I don't, okay? And it was both of us disease got, autoimmune disease got triggered due to stress. She was extremely stressed out at the time and I was stressed out at the time and we didn't even know each other. So anyway, I was just telling her, Everyone is different when it comes to disease, not just autoimmune diseases. Everyone is different when it comes to if you are diagnosed with something and how it can affect your hair. And I'm not talking about people who was diagnosed with cancer and they have to go through chemo and radiation. That's a whole different type of hair loss. Once you're over that and you fight it, shout out to all the people who are cancer survivors, your hair should grow back. The texture might change, but it grows back, right? It's not the cancer that makes your hair fall out, it's the radiation and the chemo, especially the chemo. Because it's killing cells and the chemo is stupid and it doesn't know just to kill the cancer cells. It kills all cells. All right. So that's why I would say chemo is a stupid thing. It doesn't know what to kill. It just goes in your body like, okay, everybody getting it. Everybody getting the smoke today. All right. So back to what I was saying. If you know you have a medical condition and you're diagnosed with something and then you're seeing your hair shedding. Most of the times you see it in the, you don't have to have losses for anybody. And you're seeing it in the bathroom, most people sink or white, you scratch your head and you see all the little hair falling out, your hair is shedding, right? When you, for people with locks, you touch your locks, you notice the root is not as thick, like how the base of her locks are nice and thick, and but the end part is thicker, but the base is thin, your hair could be shedding. I went through that. Weird enough, even though she and I have graves, she didn't go through it. Did you notice any hair loss in the first time, the first year we got diagnosed? A little bit. A little bit of hair loss. Mm -hmm. But you already came to me with thick hair, so that had to have been slight. I, on the other hand, when they did the radiation on me, I didn't get it with the graces after they did the radiation. And even though I got a small dose of radiation, my hair shed it badly to a point where I was ready to cut it off. Jimmy had to talk me out of that. Jimmy and my mom. Okay? So... The, between the medication and the, the the medical condition that you're diagnosed with, both of them can cause hair shedding or hair loss. First of all, you want to be patient. And the fact I told you I wanted to cut my hair off shows that I'm still human. And Jimmy had to say, Yanni, what would you tell a client? And I said, you know what? He's right. You have to be patient. Let's whatever you're going through pass. Like, in my case, when I did the radiation or what, when, remember, whenever your hair is falling out due to the medical condition or the medication, you don't notice it the same day. When you're going to notice it, it's like six months, eight months after the thing happened that caused the hair loss. All right. So it's not a, a overnight thing. All right. You also have to stop getting your hair done often. If you're a person who when you had all your thick, beautiful hair, you was get and you were healthy. You were getting your hair done every two, three weeks. Even if you you didn't even have a medical medical condition, you shouldn't be doing that. Period, right? But let's say you are diagnosed with something and you get your hair done often. You want to stop getting it done often. You really have to give your hair a break. Remember that this medication, whatever medication you're on, is wreaking havoc on your body, right? It's trying to cure the problem, which Medication really don't cure us. Let's be real. That's why they put refills on stuff. It doesn't. It just keeps it dormant or kick it into remission or just make you, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Just sustainable, if that's the right word. Yeah, medication don't help. Seriously. That's why the, the pharmaceutical company is big pharma is, is a multi-billion dollar industry. Mm -hmm. Right? I tell people that. They want to know how medication doesn't help? Refills. That's how you know. All right. And I know you got refills on your, on your methamazole because I got refills on my methamazole. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. So a lot of these medication, medications, I'm sorry, also um, 
affects our kidney and our liver. So you're dealing with all these things that it's doing with our internal organs. Now, I'm not telling you don't take your medication because she and I have to take ours, all right? What I'm telling you is look out for these signs. Don't panic. This is why it's happening, all right? And what I tell my clients who have medical conditions, that's why it's important to drink water so you can flush all that extra stuff out your body. It is imperative to drink water. You cannot be taking all that medication, and I'm only on one pill. One little dose of met something called methamazole. She's on it also. We both on the same exact medication. One little pill, and I make sure I drink a lot of water so I can keep flushing that out my body. Okay? Um, the next thing is you want to avoid dryers. Because medication, again, also dries our body out. It, that's one of the side effects. They don't mention it, but we end up with dry skin, dry scalp, dry everything. All right? Dryers is just going to make it worse. So with dryers making your hair worse, it's going to dry your scalp. And what you're going to start doing, you're going to be itching a lot. So you want to avoid going on the dryers. All right? Um, the other day I posted something about shedding, how to avoid shedding, or how to help with shedding. And I said, use biotin and collagen. And I accidentally posted the wrong link to the biotin. Shout out to the young lady who told me that. So I changed the link. And I'm going to add the link again to this video, right? So you guys can see what the right link is. For shedding, for us who have medical conditions and all my clients who have medical, different medical conditions, and most of them have been with me for so many years, I knew them when we were all healthy. <laughs> and, you know, I it was there when they got diagnosed with stuff. I would tell them, take biotin, collagen is one, bee pollen is another one. If you are pregnant, you should not be taking bee pollen. If you're breastfeeding, you should not be taking bee pollen. And if you're allergic to honey, products you should not be taking bee pollen i'm going to post the link to it when i'm done when i post this video all right so that being said try to avoid just to recap you know you will know if your hair is shedding you will know oh crap i was diagnosed with so and so and so three months ago six months ago and i'm now noticing the hair shedding you are going to know you're going to know your butt just feel your hair especially if you have thick hair like she and i you're going to know even if you have fine hair not thinning fine hair fine texture hair, you, you know your body just feel it just look around if you have a bathroom and it's tied with white tiles check on the floor scratch your head lean forward scratch and see what is falling out all right Try not to panic. Don't, don't, because you're just going to make it worse. All right? As I just told you what I did, I did thank God for Jimmy. He was like, Yanni, what would you tell a client if it was them shedding? And I was like, he's 100% right. Okay? So, don't, as I said, do not be styling too much. Do not get your hair done very often. Stick with one oil that works for you. You guys know my go-to oil with my clients that are not allergic is castor oil. I swear by castor oil. And no one could tell me otherwise. Not Jamaican black, just plain castor oil. All right? And um, that's it. You know, your hair will grow back. Stay healthy. Eat properly. And you should start seeing a difference. Let it pass. If you're, you've just been diagnosed, so that means you just started taking a medication you've never taken. Um, for instance, I have a client with MS, which is also autoimmune. She's been my client. In fact, she was our wedding planner. She was my client before I even met Jimmy, right? And she has MS for a billion years. And anytime they change her medication, I knew. And I'm like, listen, Robin, did you change your medication? She's like, how do you know? Because your hair texture is different. Your hair is shedding, whatever. She's like, what do I do? Nothing. Once your body gets used to the medication, your hair is going to come back to what it was. It's going to be, your body's going to reset itself. And she would always ask, so what do I do in the meantime? Nothing. You drink your water, get all that, whatever new medication they're giving you, get it out of your system, Right? Put lemon in your water so you can alkaline your water. It really helps. Um, Jimmy tells some clients, put a little pinch of baking soda. Is baking soda or baking powder? Baking, baking soda. Google that. The importance of putting a little bit of baking soda in your water to alkaline your water. Right? And could you drop your chair smidgen to me, please, please? 
a little more. Thank you. Yeah. To alkaline your water and you also provide nourishment for your kidneys. For your kidneys and liver, right? He's just telling me because he did this study on bacon, the importance of putting bacon soda in water. So everything has to filter through the kidney and the liver. Everything. So it's important we clean, we keep that clean, right? If you know you're dealing with a medical condition, avoid alcohol. Stuff like coffee. These things are just going to make your problem worse. The too much sugars. I'm not giving anybody a lecture about eating. Listen, at the end of the day, yes, eating properly would make a huge difference. But I know some people struggle with that. Take little baby steps. If it's not just about your hair. It's about the entire body. Your hair is just telling you something. Okay? So if you know you're a coffee person, you definitely want to avoid caffeine. When I got diagnosed with Graves' disease, I remember telling the, the endocrinologist, I was like, listen, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't even eat candy, I don't eat junk food. How this happened to me? I eat properly, I'm vegan, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, one, it's genetic. Two, she said, that's what saved your life because you actually eat properly. All right, so guys don't men and women kings and queens you're going through something and you notice the hair shedding just in closing sorry guys i'm focusing while i'm doing this because usually i don't do here while i'm talking in closing do not panic do not overthink it do not be negative oh my god my hair falling out don't don't do that don't do that positive thinking and do the right things with your hair also please take vitamin d do the right things and your hair in time should come back to what it was okay because i'm noticing a difference with my hair i'm glad you talked me out of cutting it not too tight right how your hair feels it's good it's good right another thing is i don't do my especially people like her well i don't do hair tight period especially people like her you do not want to ever get your hair done tight, no matter what technique is being used. I just happen to use this technique on her because her hair does not grow like mine. Her new girl grows with her locks. And I've been doing her hair for uh, actually a couple of years. When she first came to me, her locks was right on her shoulder. And this is her locks now. The same size. Nothing was pulled. Nothing was yanked. It's still fuzzy. No trimming. Nothing. I've left it fuzzy. You guys can see it in the back there. Right. I'm not obsessed with neatness, neither is she. Her husband was, you see, she's shaking her head. Her husband was telling her, three weeks after you see Yan, you have a full-blown afro. Right. <laughs> yeah. right. And you remember when you first gave you a panicking about that? You're like, I think the grace is affecting my hair. It's Jimmy and I, the only two people that touches her hair. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, she's not concerned. And she's a young lady. She's not concerned with her grace. She just wants a head of healthy hair. It's not about the technique. Is the information we share with each other. All right? Let me finish this and you guys will see the end result. But you're still missing us. You're still missing a sister. That sister oh, that's, yeah, that's that's the one we that's the one they're trying. I have a my mother is like that. She um there's a sister that has that they have and they don't know where she is. But mm -hmm. ancestry.com wouldn't work for her because they're from Trinidad. They really don't know where she is, you know? So Okay, guys, we are back. I am done with her hair, full hairline, right? Lean forward for me so you can see it. I do not snatch. That's another thing you want to avoid doing. Like, you dealing with a medical condition and you're on medication, please avoid getting your hair snatched. Yeah. Listen, pride is one of the seven deadly sins. <laughs> and I'm not Christian. It's just a fact. It's one of the seven deadly sins, right? Pride is one of the reasons so many clients have come to us. Like, why is this happening? Not all the time it's the loctician. It's actually the client who is doing this or requesting these things. You have the money in your pocket. You have the control over what is being done to your hair. For the ones who are doing your, their own hair, that is you. You are the one making it worse. All right? So, hair locks is not, i don't care what no one says when it comes for those people who want that holistic route or about to get on that holistic journey with their lock journey you already have locks but you don't want you know neatness is not that important okay you want a full head of hair like this sister look all the way in the back 
all the way. She actually has a healthier back than me. My back always shed it. It sheds, it grew back long before grace. All right? You want a full head of hair. You are going through something. Even stress can be a medical condition. That can also cause shedding. You know your body. You don't even have to be diagnosed with something. It's just you're stressed, right? Um, pregnancy is another one. Postpartum. All these things can cause... Is she shaking her head? All these things can cause shedding. All right, ladies, you should know. Know your body. You don't have to book a consult. First of all, I don't do consultations for people like that unless they're getting their hair done. But I get a lot of people call me, I need a consultation so you can look at my hair. That's what your mirror is for, or your husband, or your partner, or your mate. And most importantly, that's what your phone got cameras for. You should know if your hair is shedding. And what do you do? You stop getting it done for a while. You stop getting it tightened, retwisted, interlocked. It does, has nothing to do with the technique. You so focus... Yeah, that's another one too. If you have on light t-shirts, that's why you guys never know this. Well, I know her hair is in shedding. Whenever clients come to me for the first time, I like when they come, they wear like light color shirts, like white or cream or light gray, because I need to see what's falling on them. And I can see a lot of clients don't even know. It's like, hey, listen, Candice, your hair is shedding. You see all that around here? Yeah. So what do I do? All right? Stick with one oil. Just oil the scalp. Don't over oil. You don't have to mix a hundred oils. Right? That's a big mistake a lot of people make because your hair don't know if it's going or it's coming. One oil. She, you guys seen her hair. She uses just one oil. And I know you don't oil that often because you delinquent like me. We are very delinquent. <laughs> She's not upset. <laughs> I am very delinquent with my hair and my hair grows like wildfire. Even though my hair shed it, it grew back. <laughs> right? Don't be and upset. And people compliment me all the time. Especially when it's fuzzy, right? And I don't do anything, anything. to it. So the rose didn't go see it. Especially when it's fuzzy. She comes in here with a full-blown afro. Right? Look at that. Just healthy here with an autoimmune disease. Okay? Shit happens. Some of us draw the short, the short, <laughs> the short stick. I would know because I drew the short stick. She drew the short stick. All right? But what could we do about it? We don't cry over spilled milk. We take care of our body from on the inside. We take care of our mind, positive thinking, and watch our hair grow back. Stop looking in the mirror every two seconds. Did it grow back? Did, you're not gonna see it. Okay, so that's my knowledge for today. Again, I'm gonna post this maybe this afternoon or tomorrow. We are still in Georgia. Um, our weekends are completely booked up. You only have a few weekdays left. We leave and we stop on the 23rd. And for those wanting to know, we are now located in Atlanta. We are no longer in North Cross, Georgia. We are now in Atlanta. All right? And um, if you're calling to book, do not text me if you've never seen us before. Leave a voicemail. Speak your name and telephone number very slowly, very clearly. Just your first name and just say the reason for your call. Be patient and I will call you back. All right, how does your hair feel? Feels good? Feels good. She is done. And don't trim your fuzzies, guys. Remember that. Don't trim your fuzzies. See, she's, her locks are very fuzzy. Do not trim your fuzzies. It's going to thin your hair out. Don't let anybody tell you they're pruning your locks. That's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Can't stress that enough. All right. Your hair looks amazing.